Hello YouTube. So I saw this cute reference image on Pinterest and I wanted to see if I could recreate this in Blender. I don't know who the actual artist is. If you do know the name of the artist, please tag them in the comments. This video is about the process I followed. This is not a follow along tutorial. So I started with a simple cylinder, modifying it to look like a coffee cup. I added a few edges and then extruded them. I added a solidify modifier and a subdivision modifier for a smooth look. For the liquid, I kept a plain cylinder with a shape similar to that of the cup. For the cat head, I used a sphere, enabled the proportional editing and tried to create a general shape of a cat face. For the nose and tongue, I used a plane, added solidify and subdivision modifiers. Similar process for the eye. For the whiskers, I used a curved path, added a bit of depth and mirror modifier. For the top cream, I used a curved path, extruded the vertex point till I got the shape of the cream. I tapered the vertex at the end. Coming to the texturing part, I used a wave texture with sine wave on the z-axis connecting it to a color ramp. Since there were different cream colors, I made slight changes to the ramp color for each cream as you can see here. For the glass, it's simple glass BSTF combined with principal BSTF for the logo. I recreated that logo in Krita. For the coffee, I used a diffuse BSTF with a custom texture paint. I played with the colors a bit. I kept different textures for different coffee shades. The layout is simple, I used a basic plane with diffuse BSTF as a background and two area light setup, a key light and a backlight. I played a bit with the refractive index of the glass till I was happy with its effect. Since there were different kind of cat heads, I resorted to using weight pin for different hair patches on the kitty. I used basic hair, no clump or any stylized effects, kept the hair short, enabled the interpolated children and used the vertex weights for different fur patches. For different cats, different patches, all cats are different.
Coming to the shots, I planned for 7 shots initially, scrapped one as I had used liquid simulation and my blender crashed. So anyway, proceeded with 6 shots. For shot 1, it was simple camera movement from bottom to top, nothing fancy. For shot 2, I used two cameras, one to record the top half of the cup and one to record the bottom half of the cup. I rotated the cup to highlight the water drops I had added. Next, I made shot 5 as it was similar to shot 1 and 2, no camera work, just animated to background color and then changed the coffee flavors. Shot 3, I wanted to play a little bit with depth of focus. So I made two small stages on which the coffee would be kept and I wanted them to rotate 180 degrees on alternate end. So as to bring each coffee in focus. I added an empty in the center and then moved the origin of the stage to the empty and parented both of the stages to the empty. So when the empty rotates, so do the stages. Then I added an empty circle and parent the whole coffee cup to the circle so I could move all the stuff around easily. I duplicated the coffee cups and cats, animated the movement in a semicircle and then animated the camera's depth of focus to focus on the nearest coffee. Here I did use the 3 point lighting system, I added fill light on the top and animated the lights to highlight the coffee nearest to the camera. For shot 4, this shot I wanted to animate the background with some fun effect. I wanted a zooming kind of effect to happen with the focus on the coffee. I added a wave texture to the original background. I made texture coordinates to originate from an empty. I placed this empty right in middle of the green stage. So it looks like the wave is emanating from the stage. For the final closing shot, I just wanted all the flavors to be on the screen, Apple product style. I placed all the cat casinos on the plane, animated the center one to appear from behind the camera onto the screen, the side ones to meet the center one, and then finally a zoom out of the camera. Here also I used 3 point light system, big light on top, two lights from behind the camera to highlight all the curves, and I rendered it. I edited and added few text and voiceover in DaVinci Resolve and the video was ready. And that's all folks, hope you had 
or enjoyed the video and learned something. If you do like my content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.